Hey everybody, tonight on my day off we are heading to the first night of Nights of Lights here in St. Augustine, Florida. This is a time of year that we always look forward to because the town is lit up and it's so pretty, but we also dread it a little bit too because traffic gets horrible. So we think we might have found a solution to that second part of the problem. We're going to go and try to take a shuttle and see how that works out so we don't have to deal with trying to find parking. But if you want to come see Nights of Lights in St. Augustine, it's open now and it runs until January 31st, 2022. So let's go check out the shuttle situation and head out and see what we can do. I'm all about the shuttle situation because I do not like driving downtown because there's no parking ever. All right, we'll see you over there. Here's a map of the shuttle and we're catching it at the health department in St. John's County. Yeah. It looks like there's three stops and it runs from 1 p.m to 11 p.m. So we just arrived downtown, we took the shuttle, and we're gonna go take a walk, look around. It drops you off at the St. Augustine Visitor Center and parking garage, and it's a little bit of a walk to get to where we're going, so we'll let you know how that turns out. <laughs> pretty busy down here today. Looks like they have a little market set up here at the visitor center. And it's really cute and pretty and decorated. Lots of jewelry. Knives. In case you feel like cutting somebody after being here. And some folk art. It's getting dark now, so this will be all lit up soon. As we arrive at the city gates. City gates. Coming around the corner to St. George Street, which is a beehive of activity. You're looking for a doorway. When you say how Magic Kingdom. What? Don't worry. <laughs> Snowing. Snowing in St. Augustine. Or snoping. <laughs> there she is. My favorite restaurant in St. Augustine. Well, one of them. <laughs> So we're on our way to the main plaza to see the lighting of the Christmas tree. Hopefully we can get to it. It's crazy busy over here. On St. George Street. But I think we'll make it. Where's the lions? Where's the lions? Coming to the city center here. Where all the action is. Looks like they have live entertainment with an orchestra playing up here. I'd even try to drive down here. God bless the shuttle. I saw something that smells so delicious. Me too. Right now. I think it might be the Greek restaurant. <laughs> I have to find it. We made our way over to the tree facing the bandstand. Got like 30 minutes till they turn on. 
all the trees are gonna be lit up. Canopy of lights and all the food here. Oh my gosh, there's so many restaurants I haven't tried here yet. But there's a Greek place over there that is smelling right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know how hard it'll be to get in any of the restaurants, but we might find out. In case you're wondering where we are, we're at the foot of the Bridge of Lions here. And then if you turn around, there's a park. I'll just take you back to where we were. all these lights on the trees. They're all gonna be lit up when the tree gets lit. And back to you, Trusty. Scare me. <laughs> from all the madness we found this Greek restaurant. I don't know if you can even see the sign. Athena Greek, but we're gonna try it because it doesn't look quite as crowded as everywhere else. We'll let you guys know what we think. The menu is kind of hard to see. The lights really turned out pretty this year. They always do. And we're just waiting on a table here. Athena Greek cuisine. We also saw this. Delush kebabs. Brazilian street food, which also looks pretty good. Maybe we'll get one of those to go home for a midnight snack. Never know. little Greek restaurant. We will see how it tastes. We're got, hungry. We got Pepsi. Got Pepsi. What did you order? I ordered the gyro combo. And I got the chicken souvlaki combo, which comes with a grape leaf, pita bread, and a Greek salad. I think so mine, a little taste of everything. Mine comes with the same one. Awesome! Of course, when you're at a Greek restaurant, you gotta try the lemon chicken and rice soup. And that's what I got here. Looks pretty tasty. You're right. It's hot, lemony, and tasty. Do our viewers want to try it? You guys want to try it? You can feel, feel it steaming. Open wide. <laughs> Bites from home. Aqua <laughs> cheesecake. Jesse's Euro came out. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. This is my chicken soup 
souvlaki. I forgot what it's called now. But look at all that. It looks very fresh. And the Greek salad looks really good too. That's tasty. I said I love tzatziki sauce. It's so good. Mm, it's really flavorful. That's good. Really good. Let's see if Jesse tries this gyro. What do I do? I don't That's even know. It's tzatziki sauce. Dip it? You could, yeah. You can put it in your pita down Ooh. there and make a little sandwich out of it. Alright, we'll just try it first. Really good? Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. And there's some grape leaves. I love grape leaves. So what's the verdict? The verdict is it's really good and fresh and I definitely come back again. Mmm. Yeah. So good. Well, this really hit the spot. I think we're gonna come back. I haven't Greek food in a long time. And I'm a fan. And this whole place is full of like smoke from the from the flaming cheese. It smells so good, we should have got it. Next time we're gonna get it. Here's the damage on this one. 56.34. In my opinion, worth it. Shop for drones. Being spied upon. Welcome to 2021. Attack of the drones. <laughs> Look at this. Girl. Where are they? Well, it has to be up in the right there. Oh my god. Is that a full moon tonight? I don't think we're walking through this flower bed. <laughs> It is a full cool moon. It's the Bridge of Lions. Cannon. As you do. As you As you do. <laughs> as you do. Look at all these. Look. The, the horse carriage is lit up. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. That's a horse of a different color. <laughs> and if you need any kind of souvenir or goodies, it looks like they got you covered on this corner. Mm -hmm. I don't have any look right now. I so we're gonna walk over to the water and look back at all the lights along the street. Walk down towards the fort, right by the Bridge of Lions. Looks nice all lit up. don't make our bus back. <laughs> so as you can see the lights are now on for the season and the crowds are here too. Focus. There we go. <laughs> but it's really pretty. Definitely suggest coming out to St. Augustine, having dinner in one of the great restaurants here and just enjoying the ambiance because really it can't be beat at this time of year. Look there's some boats lit up too. Oh yeah, way out there in the water. Go check them out. So pretty, look at this. How pretty the like, water fairies are and everything. The boats are lit up oh under, gosh, under the, the moon. moon. On the water. It's magical tonight. Perfect night. Perfect weather too. It feels great. The bridge is all lit up. They even went so far as to line the chains here <laughs> on the water with lights. That's pretty cool. What does this remind you of, Chess? Friendship boats. <laughs> or the electric. The electric water pageant parade thingy of the Polynesian contemporary. But not as cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we're gonna show you Trusty's favorite building. We're gonna talk about it. It's actually the Teeny Martini Bar, and they have lots of outdoor tiki torches, or I, don't know, I guess that's what they are. But looks really cool, and it's always the most beautifully lit building in the whole place to me. Let's come down here and take a better look. I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> See the tree with the presents under it? Yeah. Like they've left no detail unturned over there. Oh, the torches. I like how even people decorate their sailboats here. Kind of looks like a Christmas tree. shot of my favorite one building in all of St. Augustine during Nights of Lights. The Casa Blanca Inn and the Teeny Martini Bar. I mean that is magical. Oh my god it was so bright the last time in So the funny thing is that Teeny Martini Bar has a live um, video feed that they have on YouTube 24 hours a day. So sometimes we'll just click on it and look at it. And we saw ourselves on it just now. You can't really see that because it's blurry. But we were just on it walking by on their live feed. It was pretty funny. Probably on it right now. <laughs> Ooh, look. A plane going over. In every nook and corner that you turn in St. Augustine, you're going to see some signs of Knights of Lights. Look at the reindeer. They're Dasher, and Dancer, and Dick Prancer, and Vixen, and Comet, and Cupid. Donner and Blitzen went off somewhere. Who knows where Rudolph is. After that Greek food, we're going to do a quick stop at Custodes and get a milkshake. A hand spun one. Hand spun, huh? Yes. On this Hippolyta Street. It's crowded in here, so I gotta decide what I want. It got crowded in here, but here comes Jesse with my stove. I mean, chocolate. Chocolate stove. <laughs> I just got the plain chocolate because. I'm a purist when it comes to my ice cream. So let's give this thing a try. Mm -hmm. It's really thick and chocolatey. That's how I like it. Jock got it right. <laughs> Do you like it? It's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. I bet their waffles are good too, but I'm too full from dinner to find out right now. Yeah. And there's a cute little view of Hippolito Street out there. All right, we're heading back to our shuttle. Yes. This is the best part of this whole experience is we don't have to drive. Mm -mm. I could have drank, but I don't feel like it. Trusty said I could have as many beers as I want, but I'm not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Missed opportunities. It's always next time. It's always next time. <laughs> Look, pirates.
bunch of pirates walking down the street in St. Augustine, as usual. As they do. As they do. <laughs> They're sore. They're partying like it's 1565. <laughs> Past, they would give you like 3D glasses and the lights as you looked at them through the glasses would turn into like snowmen or Santa Clauses and it was really cool and I guess they're still doing it and it's $69.95 for a private row but maybe they have like rows you can share with people for cheaper I'm sure they do but it's really fun and you can get tickets at the old town trolley stops anywhere in St. Augustine we'll probably do this eventually but not tonight <laughs> All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for today or tonight on my day off as we checked out the first night of. Sorry, I'm in the mm -hmm. way. Night of Lights here in St. Augustine, Florida. And we had a really good time. It was pretty magical here. Mm -hmm. Definitely suggest you guys come check it out. It's going on for like almost three months so you got plenty of time mm -hmm. <laughs> but once again we're going to ask you to please like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you again soon on the next my day off check it out check out these pretty lights they're everywhere time to head to the shuttle and go home. Bye guys. This vlog is finished. Even though it's Christmas here in St. Augustine, I always have to come and say hi to my favorite buddy here. The creature still holding pumpkins. Isn't that cool? I love him. The creature from the Black Lagoon here at Potter's Wax Museum. This is another place you guys should come check out in St. Augustine if you're ever here. Totally worth it.